This is CBS 11 News Now. Hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks again for joining us here for our digital update. This is CBS 11 News Now. I'm Ken Molestino. We are live from our Fort Worth studios. And as always, we remind you to participate in this conversation with us as we uh, bring you some of the stories, a little uh, sneak peek of what we're working on for you uh, here throughout the day at CBS DFW. Hey, uh, let's get you uh, to some information, some news coming out of California uh, and some images uh, coming out of uh, Los Angeles area. Five people were told were hurt when someone opened fire inside of a Los Angeles classroom Thursday morning. A lot of you uh, saw this uh, across social media. We've been monitoring it too. Uh, we're now told that two students had gunshot wounds. Uh, this includes a 15 year old boy uh, who was shot in the head. Uh, officials telling us that he is in critical condition. A 15 year old girl was shot in the wrist. Uh, the three other victims were treated for minor cuts, uh, possibly related to uh, things like shattered glass or other kinds of injuries that they may have had uh, while the shooting was taking place. Uh, but uh, those are not uh, injuries related to gunshots. Now, police do have a 12 year old suspect in custody. Uh, this is, again, just a very alarming detail. It's a 12 year old uh, in custody uh, who is a female. So we're talking about a 12 year old uh, girl who is the suspect. Uh, in this school shooting. Again, uh, these images coming out of uh, Los Angeles, uh, and we're keeping a very close eye on this. Uh, obviously, if there's any new information, we're going to get it right to you. But again, uh, this is something that uh, really uh, spread throughout social media. A lot of you guys were watching this, uh, and again, again, so were we, and we were able to see uh, these images coming in and confirm some of these details, really disturbing details uh, there. And of course, uh, it's not too long ago that we had a similar type of shooting here in our neck of the woods down in Italy. So uh, these kinds of things certainly uh, top of mind uh, and very frightening uh, for so many people. Uh, let's get you to Denton County right now. Uh, officials there, they have decided that the Confederate monument in Denton Square can stay with some changes. This was a highly debated topic out there in Denton County. A special committee made the recommendation to the county commissioners uh, to add context to the monument, and that might consist of a plaque that denounces slavery and uh, the Confederacy, and more elements that explain the history of the monument uh, and to recognize veterans. Those are some of the options, uh, some of the suggestions that were thrown out. The alternative, though, was to remove the statue and to store it or display it in a museum. Let us know what you think about this. Uh, if you have any comments on this, uh, send it to us here on Facebook Live. We'll read them back to you, see if uh, we can chat with you here. Uh, let's get you now uh, to Dallas. Sorry, I thought I saw I had a wire I thought there. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, there's a lioness out in the, the, Dallas, uh, the Dallas Zoo, Jasari and uh, a 10 month old lion, Bahati. They were called on today to choose between two meaty ice cakes. The purpose of this is them choosing a Super Bowl winner, a champion on Sunday night's big game. Uh, and, you know, the Dallas Zoo has been doing this uh, for some time now. They say in the past three years, their animals have guessed the champions correctly every single time. Take a wild guess, if you will, which meaty icy cake these lions went straight for. Anybody? Uh-oh. The Patriots. I knew it. <laughs> so this is, uh, again, they, they've, uh, the animals out in the Dallas Zoo, they have nailed the, uh, the choice, uh, the guess, rather. Three years in a row, they're hoping to make this the fourth. They have chosen the New England Patriots, uh, and it looks like they're really having a good time eating that icy, <laughs> meaty cake. Icy meaty cake. What is an icy meaty cake? Something that only lions Good can understand lions. and can enjoy, right? <laughs> it's a lion thing. It's lion snacks, lion grub. I right. Guess. Uh huh. So. Hey, uh, Annalise Parks joining us here. Uh, Annalise, uh, how's it looking out there? It's it's a pretty pretty day out there. Yeah. Um, our winds are still gusty. They're not as gusty as they were yesterday. A cold front, a dry cold front, pushed through uh, early today, first half of the day. It's now to the south, and that's where any clouds are going to remain as well. So we've had. A a lot of sunshine. Yes, some drier airs moved in behind it and slightly cooler as well. Uh, depending where you are, you've seen that change maybe a little more than some. If you're back off to the west, you can see Breckenridge 20 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. So it really just depends if you're back off to the east, not quite as big of a drop off, still a noticeable cool down and still some winds to contend with. Um, although this time yesterday, I have to point out, most of our wind gusts were at 30s up to 40 right, miles per right, hour. Right, right, right. So yeah, so gusty, just about 10 miles per hour. So when do you less. think when do you, when do you think we're going to start seeing uh, those I, winds decrease? Uh, late tonight, I okay. think late tonight and into tomorrow, you'll get to see a much better break from. 
the, the gusty ones we've had to deal okay, with. Okay, all right. Is yeah. it too soon to start talking about weekend uh, weather? Uh, no, like I don't far think so. into the weekend, you know? Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting close. <laughs> it's Thursday after all. We are getting there. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow will be the coolest day of the weekend, which do you know what tomorrow is? Friday. Well, besides that, February 2nd? <laughs> Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, of course. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> if you're into that. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not. <laughs> I, just, I just want to get to Friday Different as holiday. quickly as we can. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. I know. I think meteorologists have a love hate relationship with Groundhog Day. Yeah. You know, I mean, what's the science behind that? Well, exactly. <laughs> Nothing don't, against Paxitani Phil, but uh, kind of love there. him and all. But yeah. well, all right. if he were here, he would see a shadow, which yeah. is, would be good news if you're in support of winter ending soon. He would see a shadow here. Okay. We're going to get some sunshine. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, I, I dig sunshine. Sunshine's cool. <laughs> we like that. Uh, let's get to some comments here on uh, Facebook. Uh, we've got a couple of people chiming, chiming in. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Michael McLeod saying hello from Belize. Uh, this is a comment uh, back to one of the, um, the first story that we told you about that unfortunate shooting uh, that took place mm -hmm. at a school in, uh, in L.A. And uh, Rita Ellett Anton said, uh, and I'm just going to read her, her, her message here. She says, I really hate to have this opinion, uh, but think maybe if parents start getting charged for their minor children's action, maybe just maybe this would help. Uh, Rita, you know, this is, uh, you know, it's a, it is a tough opinion to have. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, don't know if you're going to get much support for something like that, but you know uh, there is something that a lot of folks, uh, you know, are, are asking. They're asking, you know, how can this stop? How can we put an end to this? This is happening way too much, way too often. Again, you know, here uh, in North Texas, we had the situation out in Italy not too long ago, uh, so clearly that's still top of mind for so many people. But uh, yeah, you know, there are some very, uh, you know, uh, emotionally charged opinions out there. Uh, I, I presume yours is one of them as well. Uh, but yes, yeah, something uh, something like what we're seeing happening in LA certainly catches all of our attention, and, and it is a heartbreaking situation, and even for us to uh, to report on. Uh, Kathy uh, Snow saying Louisiana in the house, Louisiana here. All right. Uh, we've got uh, Julia Little Nacogdoches. Uh, she says, but still following you. So hello to Nacogdoches. <laughs> uh, hello from Paris, Texas. Hello from Sheridan. Bernie Chavez saying hello from Sheridan. Lisa Sanchez out in Paris. So thank you everybody for uh, tuning in, for saying hello. Uh, and for participating in this conversation, you know, these are this is what's fun about Facebook Live. You yeah, know, getting doing, to have a conversation with yeah, everyone. Yeah, we've been doing this for a few days now, and I think this is the best part, at least for me, you know, to be able to talk yes. to our viewers. Uh, and look, look at this, Craig Judd, hello from Rochester, New York. So wow. through Facebook Live, we can reach people a lot further than just uh, here in the Metroplex in uh, in North Texas. So, hey guys, uh, fun. thanks again for joining us. Uh, we're going to have the uh, 4 p.m. newscast coming up here shortly. That's 4 p.m. Central Time, by the way, for everyone over on the East Coast <laughs> and, and in different places. Uh, we're going to have a lot more on the stories that we just told you about. Of course, Annalise is going to have the weather. Uh, so we will uh, see you then. But for right now, thanks so much for joining us here on this uh, digital update on Facebook Live. We'll talk to you soon. This has been CBS 11 News Now. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest local news and weather.